Today, I am going to show you how to show your Minecraft status on Discord. It's that simple. Anyways, to start off, we need to download Forge for Minecraft. So click on the first link in the description, then click on Installer, and we're going to install Minecraft Forge. Anyways, if you already have Minecraft Forge set up, then you can skip to the part where I just download Craft Presence, or if you already know how to do that, just install the mod and look through the chapters and figure stuff out. Anyways, once you download the first file, we're gonna go to the second link in the description. You're gonna see Craft Presence. You want to scroll down and select the one that says Forge, and that actually has a Minecraft version name, not a snapshot. As you can tell in the game version, there's snapshot, and there's 1.18.1, which is the version we're using. You want the one that says Forge in it. You see Forge? That's the one we want to click. So go to the download file and download it. So we want to go to our downloads folder. Then we want to click on the Forge installer.jar. So just double click on it. It'll open up with this thing right here. It'll, stay, it'll say install client, install server. Just click OK. It's not that difficult. There's going to be some cool code hacky stuff here. Anyways, it should be done. Pop up with this little pop up. Just click OK. It's not that difficult. Now we want to open up our Minecraft launcher. This is the one I use. I use the OG Minecraft launcher because, oh, hold on. Just before we do anything crazy, what I really want you to do is press the Windows key and the R key on your keyboard. Just press them together and you should see this run window. We want to type in percent, app data percent, then press OK. Then you're going to have this little thing here. You want to double click on the dot Minecraft folder, open it up, and now we need to right click, do new, folder, and we just need to type in mods with a lowercase m. Now you might already have this folder. If you do, just open it up. If you don't have the folder, then you had to create it, just like I showed you. Anyways, double click on mods, then we need to go back to our downloads and just drag this craft presence dash forge thing into the folder. It, it's just, it's that simple. Then close off both of these and then open up your Minecraft launcher, click play. It's gonna say blah, 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 who cares? Click I understand the risks and click play. Anyways, after 13 years, Forge should pop up and it should say Forge on the bottom left. If you click mods, you'll see craft presence. I might have actually done it. I've had so much issues getting this mod thing figured out, but I might have done it. Anyways, click done. Then we wanna to go to single player and just open up any world because we need to look at our settings. Once you actually open up Minecraft, you should have in your Discord status playing Minecraft. Now, if you don't, I'm gonna quickly show you how to fix that. What you need to do is click on user settings. Then we want to scroll down and you will see activity status. Click on that and make sure it's enabled. So now that I'm in Minecraft, you should see that your status says playing a game and it should say Minecraft. Now, to customize this, we want to press the utility key, which is this key right here. It's the little kind of thing that is a little tick or it's the squiggle key, it's the same key. It's just above tab. You want to press it and it'll open up this menu here. Now, if you click on general settings, there will be general settings. You can enable detect biome data, enable join register, uh, request, sorry, auto register. You can have a default icon. So in this case, if you're in the main menu, it'll show grass, but you can change it to any of these wonderful icons. Anyways, click on back and we have customized biome messages, customized dimension settings. There's a lot of customization, but the one that most of you actually probably care about is this present setting. Now, if I click on that, you'll notice that we have details message format, game state message format, large image text format, and small image text format. What the heck is this guy saying? Well, first off, this large, this large image text format is if I hover over the image, it will say in the overworld. Now, if you look at this thing here, if you hover over, it'll say that there are some placeholders and there's a whole bunch of different variables. There's main menu, MC version, the list is right there, in front of you and this allows you to change what this specific status says so in this case the image text basically is just the text that occurs when you hover over the image but we have details message format and game state now this is kind of where the text in the overworld and playing single player comes from in this case if i hover over game state well, first, if you read game state, you'll notice that it says server. Now, if I hover over game state and look for the word server, it says the current server message. In this case, I'm playing single player, so it's saying playing single player. But I might want to say, hmm, what biome am I in? So I look in this list and I see, oh, look, it has ampersands, biome, ampersands. And that will show the current biome message. So what I'm going to do 
is for this game state, I am actually going to remove server and replace it with biome and then click back and press save. Now you'll notice that my presence disappears and it loads back in and it says Minecraft in the overworld playing in beach because I'm on a beach biome. But anyways, if I start moving in towards a different biome, which hopefully this is, come on Minecraft. Oh, playing in planes. You see that? Look, the response time is pretty good too. Playing in planes. Oh, stepping into the sand, playing in beach. So as you can tell, it'll automatically update and dynamically change to however you want. In this case, I am going to press the tilde key, then I'm gonna click reset to default because I wanna stick with the default just to show you if you're lazy like me, how it'll look if you're playing, you know, some crazy game like Hypixel or whatever. So I'm gonna save and quit to title. Now I'm gonna go into multiplayer and I don't know the Hypixel IP, so I'm gonna to have to Google search it real quick. Well, now you might be tempted to do direct connection, but you actually wanna add the server. Now I'm gonna call this Crypixel because it's just Crypixel, then paste in the IP and click done. And now if I join the server, you'll notice, oh, 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 Minecraft doing stuff, playing on Hypixel network, baby. Anyways, press the tilde key, then you can go to customize server messages and go to server messages. Then I can click on Hypixel, click continue, and then the message can be playing on message of the day. So in this case, I think I might want to change it to the server name itself. So I am going to type in playing on, and then I'm going to do name. Then I'm going to click change icon. Then I'm going to look for the high pixel icon because of course it's a very famous server. It's going to be on here. Click on the icon, click continue, then click back. Then guess what? Press back again and press save. So once I input it in, you'll notice it says playing on Crypixel, which is funny. And you can have, once again, I can press the tilde key, go to present settings, and I can change all these words on my bridge presence. So in my present settings, I selected tile entity because I wanted to display the current tile entity item blocker armor message. I just wanted something cool, right? So what I'm gonna do is, first off, if I enter it, it's not gonna show up. And that's because what I need to do is I actually need to go back, then I need to go to advanced settings and enable the per item system, the per GUI system, and the per entity system. That's just so you have everything unlocked for you. Press back and click save. And now if I'm in Minecraft, you'll notice, oh, playing on Crypixel. Items, holding oak wood. Isn't that pretty fancy dancy? Oh, holding skyblock menu, holding oak wood. So it reads what you're holding, which is uh, pretty uh, pretty nifty to be honest. I think that's <laughs> it's pretty cool. Let's just go above and beyond. Let's really just kind of flex the muscles of this program. Let's go to present settings. Instead of showing, oh, I'm playing on Crypixel. <laughs> Who cares? I'm gonna go back and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna do target entity so i'm gonna do ampersands target entity then another ampersands and then press back and press save and now i'm in minecraft i am now holding an oak wood block and i am oh i guess the targeting thing doesn't work does it what if i try killing a mob let's go back for a sec targeting okay well Wow, so that that's pretty complex. <laughs> Tar targeting, targeting. Wah, 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 wah. So as you can tell, uh, it's a little finicky. Holding my profile, game menu, targeting mystery vault. If I go to like Smash Heroes guy, what am I targeting? Six B D five eight eight B E dash B F E B. So. It can be a little finicky, but I mean, if you're not playing on Crypixel and you're playing Minecraft like a normal human being, then you might have a little more creative freedom where you could be targeting a pig or a villager. All right, so it was a little finicky with the thing, but now I am targeting a moo cow and it says targeting cow. So in single player, this targeting or target entity works a little bit better. This auto hop thing sucks. But anyways, it, it works a lot better in single player, whereas in multiplayer, it kind of shows you that mumbo jumbo. And anyways, that is the video. Hopefully it was helpful. Uh, obviously, Minecraft's a little fun, and this does have a lot of possibilities that you can customize it to. Just keep in mind, it will take some time. There are a little bit of bugs, but that's just the way mods are. That's how it goes. Anyways, hope you do well in school. I love you, sweetheart. Mwah.